Hi everybody, welcome to another episode of Mopo Podcast, where it's all matter of personal opinion, it's all Mopo. And today what we're going to do is, uh, we decided we're going to do something like a 31 days of Halloween for y'all, get uh, set it off right for Halloween. And we're going to start with, like, the, the slasher movie monsters, you know, like the ones we, well, I, and at the scientists here grew up with, uh, you know, Jason, Freddy. Uh, Chucky, Ma- Leatherface, yeah. Leatherface, like you know the the main guys, Michael you know, Myers, right? The, there, the there's, classics. There's other ones Our out there, classics, right? But we're we're sticking with the big big guns here, the guys who really like made an impact on the industry. You know, at one point, like horror movies were were it. They had like magazines for horror movies. I remember and, horror like, movie magazine. Uh, guys like Tom Savini and like John Carpenter like made millions and millions of dollars just off of horror movies. Then like nowadays they're like meh. Yeah they're, they're alright. They're hard, uh, good ones are hard to come by. So I think the the most iconic I mean and they're all icons, but I think to me the, the most iconic one is Jason. He's probably, I mean, it's, that's an argument, it's Mopo, but he's probably the first one you would think of, like, big scary slasher monster, you know, motherfucker. Yeah, I would I would say Jason in in my house growing up, it was Michael Myers for some reason. Okay, hey, he's, like, like he's Jason, another one. Jason was still just as well known, but <laughs> for some reason it's like my mom was a real big Halloween fan. And it was just yeah, Halloween. And, and that's the name of the movie. Michael Myers loved dressing up in clown <laughs> outfits when he was a kid. I mean, I kind of, I kind of related to that. Right, right. So uh, yeah, but Jason, you know, if you don't know Jason, he's basically a kid who uh, was neglected at a summer camp, and basically, I don't know if he, you know if he's mentally challenged or not is up in the air. But basically, he drowned in this lake. You know, and his mom blamed the camp counselors. And in the first movie, you're led to believe that Jason is running around killing people, but really, it's his mama. And it ain't seeking that revenge, right? So, really, who's the real Jason? Who's the real scary Jason? Cause that first one was crazy, but yeah, right. <laughs> <laughs> um, but then in the second one, throughout the whole. Uh, Where the feminists support in that movie? Right? Yeah, that's a strong woman right there. Right? She killed a lot of big, strong dudes, but she was crazy. Um, and, but then throughout, you know, the genre it was Jason actually walking around with his hockey mask. Because he, like, came back from the dead and right. all. Right. You know, he covered an ugly face, man. Like, first of all, I, I think the kid was ugly to begin with. The craziest thing to me is, like, he died as a kid. And somehow... Still grew like, up. He still grew up <laughs> as this dead zombie monster. Yeah, not like, only not only grew up, but grew up to be, like, the physically The most jacked hit. dude like, ever. Like, yeah, you must be needing a lot of fish in that lake, dude, or right? something, because, damn, you're huge. It's like, you know, I li- all them bodies I'm lifting by the neck. <laughs> right, like... So you know uh, that that was that was wild because that always <laughs> threw me off, and it's it's not even especially when you see some of the movies now with Jason. Yeah, it, you go back it, and watch. He didn't grow it. like a normal person. He grew like like a cockroach or, <laughs> yeah. or like one of those uh, animals where there's no regulation as to how big they can get. Like a, he's like a crocodile. Yeah, a, a pet iguana will grow <laughs> enormous as long as you keep feeding it. Right, and this dude's just eating <laughs> souls. He, he's like the. Uh, equivalent of the Gila monster, but I think uh, my favorite one was probably Jason Goes to Manhattan. What? You, I, you never, remember that I one? never. You never heard that one? Uh, part eight. Jason Goes to New York. Jason Goes to Manhattan. That's crazy. Or whatever. You never seen that? <laughs> no. <laughs> Scared. Let's get the podcast right now and go watch that. But um, <laughs> so Jason, they they start out at the camp and they take a boat ride over to Manhattan. Uh, be, you know, like they're an actual like court. Oh, New York City is right across. Yeah, I'm the, like, the where, river. where, where is this it's camp? Not at? Really across <laughs> the the actual camp, camp is in New Jersey, and actually, where they they filmed the very first one was in New Jersey. So I guess they could drive out or yeah, well, they boat took a over, boat over. over, over, over you well, know, that's a long boat ride. If that's the most unbelievable thing in a horror movie, I guess you know we can deal with that. It's like, oh, so this guy coming back from the dead <laughs> I can deal and with running that. around, it's like, oh, that makes sense to you, but they can't boat a, from New Jersey to New York. In the <laughs> but that just doesn't make sense to me. But uh, so they, they go over to New York and he like follows their asses or whatever. It's like Jason. He, he's at the bottom of the waters just like trudging 
trudging through. Right, trudging through, her, like he's like hooked onto the bottom of their boat. But I think oh, he does real get, sinister. get on the boat, though. I think he actually is on the boat. So he's but, just, he's just like hanging yeah. on. It's like I'm gonna just wait um, out till we a little and further. And he goes to New York City. It's just so unrealistic, though. It's hilarious. It's the best. He's just Jason walking around New York City. First of all. He called the cops on, or whatever, walking around with a machete all ugly and big, or whatever, killing people. You get the cops called on your ass, they'd have ten squad cars on Jason, and then they'd really have a problem, because Jason would probably kill all them cops, but... It's just, that, that's my favorite one, because my, my favorite scene is, that, so there's this boxer kid, and they're up on, like, the, the roof of this building, and he's running from Jason, he's like, no, I'm not fighting you no more, Jason, he's gonna box Jason. I remember that, you remember I do that? remember that. He boxed Jason, and Jason just, show Rukin, or whatever, just stands there, uppercuts that boy one time, head goes flying off the building in a trash can. I remember it being, points. like, super cheesy. Oh, it was. It's hilarious. Like, <laughs> it, it's the best. It it's was so, barely scary. <laughs> it was it, no, that one was not scary. Like maybe the first one was really scary, and then maybe the one where like the kid he the kid survives. He's um Corey, not Corey Haim, but the other Corey. Yeah, uh, he survives, and the next movie comes back as like an older adult, and he tries to kill Jason in his grave. And the lightning bolt hits the bar and it makes Jason come back alive. That was some scary shit. But, um, uh, they also, they have a, a game coming out. They had a game for the Nintendo back in the day, but they have a new game coming out. And it looks phenomenal. I saw that. I mean, it, it kind of explains you because you've never seen Jason run. But how does his ass get around that cabin so quick? Look at that game. You'll see why. Yeah, look at that game and you tell me that's not... Some of the videos I saw, I'm like, that's kind of really cheap. He's dirty. He's Jason. What do you expect? Well, well to like, do? I think there should. Uh, all right, like, I'm no, gonna just, but I'm gonna I'm cut you off because the the scenes that you saw in the game, they showed an amped up Jason. Oh, in those okay. Videos. They purposely amped it up. Okay, so to, his powers aren't that extravagant at the beginning. No, no you, not at the it, beginning. Because like, you have to build it up by the like by ten minutes, fifteen minutes into the game. Then yeah, he might be that strong, but he's not gonna be. But like, you have to level him up. Yeah. So yeah, but <laughs> I, just, I just thought he could get a little too close too easily. Yeah, there yeah. Should, like, there should be like a limit. This game, he, they, the, he, you understand why Jason's so scary in that game. But uh, I guess I mean so. The scientists here already mentioned him. I don't think he'd be the second most popular, but we'll. We'll get to who I think would be the second most popular as we talk about Michael Myers a little bit. Uh, you don't think Michael uh, Michael Myers I, is... I honestly think Freddy would probably pop up in a lot of people's heads. Like, if you're if you're doing, like, the Family Feud, yeah. number one answer is Jason, number two got to be Freddy. You know, and in, think, in my mind. I think that's kind of because, if you think about it, Michael Myers and Jason are probably They're, tied at first... Because they're both like knife wielding, and they're both maniacs. very similar dudes walk yeah. around charging around. One's never got a running. machete, one's got a like a butcher knife. Yeah, like you know, they're the, kind of like the same dude a little bit. Jason just seems more memorable. Yeah, because it's the, it's it's easy. It's just oh, it's a hockey mask. hockey mask. Not what kind of mask is he wearing? Where we all know it's an inside out Shatner mask. That he's wearing. Oh, I thought they like painted it uh, white. No, it, it's inside out. Is it inside? The, at least the very first. One yeah, yeah. Before they got all tore up. Because yeah. I know by like the third movie, they said it was just like <laughs> pulling it out of his back pocket, and it was all like, crunchy. That the original one was an inside out uh, Captain Kirk mask, William Shatner. That's crazy. Yeah, and and you wouldn't know that unless you had inside information. I don't know John Carpenter personally, but. Um, Speaking of, though, that would creep me out most about the Halloween movies. Well, first of all, Michael Myers was the only motherfucker I was scared of when I was a kid. Now, all these dudes were talking about... Because he's the most real. He was real. He's a real dude. Well, I mean, he ain't uh, no Leatherface is kind of real, yeah, too. That dude's like, but, I ain't going out but, to the yeah, country. You're not going That's out. That's second movie. You're not putting yourself in that situation. Right. At the Roach 83, two-second movie. Oh, let's go to East Texas. See you later. I'm staying here. Yeah. But, um... Y'all have fun. Right, y'all have fun. Bring me back a T-bone stick. Credits. <laughs> but, um... No, uh, the music, though, in the Halloween... John Carpenter, he's the director of the movie, did the music, too. And it's so simple. Do, 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 do. But it's so 
creepy too at the same time. Like he he's a genius. Like that's what really scary about the movie. Like the the little music, like the sh -sh -sh ain't that scary, Jason? But the do 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 is that that'll send a little shiver down your spine. <laughs> right, like uh, it's a good song. Good job, John Cover. Should get out Grammy if he didn't. I don't know. Mopo homework research with John. John Carpenter got a Grammy on that. But uh but Freddie is very iconic too because he's more of like the He's the, the funny guy. Out like of the, he gets out you when you're crew. sleeping. Like yeah. that's when you're most vulnerable. Like you can't even defend yourself. He he always cracked me up. He always had like a joke or something and Yeah, right. He and, was always making the and Jason and Michael Myers never talked. <laughs> he never said a goddamn word, so where you actually could interact with Freddy and like, he tell you how stupid you are. Yeah, and like and Freddy was like he's like a goon or whatever. Like he'd be like, Oh, and then when he's actually like about to get got or something somebody actually is like messing with him, he's so surprised and it's just like he's like a, a wrestler or something. <laughs> like it's like a work or something. He's like Oh my God! Like, how, what's going on? Like, I'm sorry, Freddy. You ain't coming into my dream and doing nothing. First of all, you'd probably be interrupting something, and I would not be appreciating that. <laughs> and second of all, you be getting, you, Freddy, you get your ass beat by me. Dream master, don't got shit on me. I'm you going to your nightmare, reliving. I don't know, getting burnt up or something. Like maybe some little kids, like teasing you or something like <laughs> you want this but you can't have this or something I, I don't know what your nightmare would be Freddy but you ain't coming in my shit fucking with me right I, I don't know man he might just be a victim of my own nightmare with me <laughs> it'd be like he'd try to come into my dreams and everything and just be all like on a torture rack right beside me I'm like oh hey what's up man yo trust me it ain't gonna get any better <laughs> we we fucked <laughs> He would get. He would be in the car with me while I'm drunk driving. Oh shit! <laughs> Slow down, kid. <laughs> yeah, right. It's like, oh, it's taking a turn a little fast. We're all gonna die. Oh damn. <laughs> and uh, then uh, lean on the more funnier, like, and somebody to, and more absurd to me. You talk about Chucky. Yeah, yeah. Because to me, I, Chucky's not scary at all. Okay, he's scared like, like a really big spider. Or like a small dog would be scary. <laughs> right. Like where it's like you're not really sure why it exists, but you're just Dude. like, ah, get and it I'm, away. Sorry, homeboy. You're Look at your arms. You're not getting the girth or the strength or the umph behind nothing with that knife. To well, even, they're, they're going to uh, imply that it's the, spirit, well, well, his the strength spirit, of the spirit. His spirit will still get stomped like any other little motherfucker will get stomped. I, like... Whew. That, once again, would be the horror movie, is me decimating Chucky's bitch ass. My son or something, Daddy, Chucky, Chucky, get me. We're going to be running through a lot of toys, because <laughs> I will break every single last one of them toys, and I I will mutilate that Chucky doll. And they'll have to make the scary movie called Day Roach 83. It's... <laughs> Instead of Chucky. But yeah, that was always... Uh, like, I mean... Is it like when he's running at him and he doesn't even have a knife? Like I think it's, it's like, what are you gonna do? Like, like and they always end up. He always manages to wrap his small arms around their ankle and then like bite their leg or something. I'm like, why did you let it get that close? First of all, it shouldn't have been able to do that at all. Like, he's running at me. You can kicked right in the face or something or it's like kids in the hall when the dudes are running down the alleyway do man just got his fist standing out or whatever yeah. do man runs into the sis that would be you Chucky like you must say, you're not getting me like the scariest Chucky would have to be what is it I think it was two is it, it was it when he oh no uh, when they went to the army or yeah. whatever the, or, I think that was that was three three yeah okay I, I, that was crazy that was the, that was the scary one cause the kid, now he has a gun yeah the kid from head in the class jumped on him off again uh yeah, a grenade or whatever. A grenade or whatever and died on. Oh, that, that was crazy. Because that, that, that was when I was like, all right, well, listen, if he's got a gun, then, yeah, I'm kind of scared of him because I can't really find him if he's going to be hiding and picking me off. He's yeah, he'd pretty have to be, small. He'd have to be up in the tower or something like, picking me off because I'll sneak up behind his bitch ass. You got a gun or something. like. Well, if you don't know. You know what, man? He'd have to shoot my ass because I'd still be like, yeah. That would you, be the you, point. Yeah, your fingers are not big enough to... 
You think the recoil of the of the shot was sending him up, flying? Yeah, fuck him up too. It better, <laughs> right? There better be some realistic physics in this. Right. Yeah, Chucky is like the most unrealistic. So I out guess of all unless he gets a first shot off on you, he's probably not right. going to get the second. He better or third catch me when I'm sleeping. Is what that is? They got that Freddy and Chucky fucked up or whatever, like because that's the only way Chucky's getting me. And then, more, back to realistic, but a lot more crazy. Well, actually, the most realistic, because my man Leatherface was based off, what, a game, I believe? Yeah. And that dude was a sick fuck. But Leatherface never really, like... He never really left his property. Yeah, like, he never chased nobody around with chainsaws and... Well, didn't he? Like, not out in the open. Well, like, like, not running down the street with his Well, not, not like, like, like running downtown, no. Yeah, like, yeah. cause, like... Uh, I was like, he's still running around co- outside, but... On his property, Lord knows what the hell this dude is doing, because we can't even... T- we can probably do a whole 31 days of Halloween on that game by him damn self, because he's he's a monster worse than any of these dudes or whatever, but... Yeah, but the face was based off him, but the... The thing that was, well, first of all, he's ugly as fuck with that fa- the, that mask on. Well, yeah, it's not like, his, though. That's I think he's <laughs> ugly without it, and that's why he wears the mask, uh, right? How are you going to go from being ugly to make a mask and I'm be ugly er? Well, no, I think it's more like, I'm not ugly, it's the mask. Yeah. Oh, shit, that shit is freaky, though. Um, but it's his family, too. Like, And I don't know that Ed Gain had family like that. Or no, I, I think that's just something that, that kind of spawned out of the whole story. Yeah. Like, what if the you know he had a family? Like, oh, He's the, the baby. The, the, there's, uh, we could even talk about family psychos. You know, like One of these 31 days <laughs> of uh, Halloween be a family psycho. True enough, but... Because there's a lot of those out there. Yeah, the, but... Yeah, tell us what you think. Who who are some such? I know we probably left a whole bunch out. Yeah, I definitely feel like, like we only covered the obvious yeah, ones. Yeah, you guys tell us. Who, who scared you when you were a little kid? What, what movie did you watch, you know, slasher style, um, you know, that really scared you? Let us know what you think. And uh, check back tomorrow. We'll have another 31 Days of Halloween for you.